Hey, this is Rob, and this is step, oh, I don't remember, step five or six, maybe step six in, uh, in the grass rendering system I've been working on for the terrain. Um, so what is different in this version, right? The last time we did this, we had uh, a whole bunch of kind of billboards, really little crosses made for the grass geometry. Um, now what we've done is we have assigned each of these blades of grass a, uh, a bit of a random color. Right, so they're not all the exact uniform color, which really goes a long way to break it up. Um, and we are uh, we are using a little bit of sign math to, I uh, should say, a little bit of trigonometry to do some uh, some waves here. So the uh, the grass is waving based on its x and y coordinates, which give it sort of these kind of big volumes that all move together, right? Um, and then they are uh, they are actually using some trig to create a complex wave of how fast time goes on in this little wind simulation. Um, and that uh, and that is okay. You can see how I feel like when they slow, they actually slow too much. You know, there should be some cut off. So maybe we need to like establish a floor on that uh, on that function. Just like before though, this goes on infinitely, which is pretty cool. Uh, one thing that is new in this version too is that we are using some density maps here you can see that there we go here's a place where the uh, the density value actually causes there to not be grass on this uh, on this slope currently i'm outputting from the terrain renderer the mix map and i'm just saying oh the green channel of the mix map is the grass density um, that's not going to be the final solution although it works pretty well um, and then in order to control density we actually are just uh just using the value from the from the mix map to control the alpha rejection which actually works pretty nicely when the grass has the kind of correct artwork because the alpha channel falls off um, towards the bottom, which means the grass starts looking shorter and shorter as we get to one of these edges. And, uh, and once we get there, the grass is just these little kind of strips of stubble and such. Um, that works pretty nicely. So, so there's actually geometry on the rock here, but it's just all rejected by the shader. Um, that's pretty much it, coming along well. I think the next steps are going to be um, maybe a little bit more random variation. Uh, my wife just informed me that I should be doing some kind of specular on the ways of grain based on, uh, on this YouTube video. Let's see if we can play it again here. This is a great little reference. But, oh, that is an appetizer. So anyway, that's it. Um, that is uh, that is probably workable. I could probably call it quits at this point. But I'm going to take it a little bit farther and see what more we can do with it.